Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Nietra. I'm going to be teaching your Pilates class today. And in case you don't know this, the Pilates is a system of exercise that you are going to be doing it was invented by a German called Joseph Pilates, who came out and lived in the United States after the Second World War. And he started the, this process of fitness before anybody was doing any kind of working out. It was not in a culture like it is today. And he was the first person in the modern world talking about body-mind connection. And the idea that if you concentrate on your body and you do three repetitions consciously and with awareness, it's better than 10 to 20 repetitions done unconsciously and in a slovenly manner. His idea was that we get the body symmetrical, balanced, and that we start from the center out versus if you know yoga, we start from the bottom up. Lots of fitness, we start vertical. His philosophy is that we are already troubled by the time we're adults, and we need to undo certain imbalances in the body, and the easiest way to rebalance the body is starting on your back. So please lie down on your back. And we focus very much on the spinal column. If you think of your spine as a spring, it has a natural S shape, we're taking the spring and we're lengthening it in order to remove stressors. So please have your feet bent up. We're going to do a few three Pilates exercises first. In this position, see if you can pull your stomach muscles toward your back and possibly feel your whole spine on the mat. So from your tailbone to your head, you're nice and long. Now we're gonna loosen up the shoulder girdle a little bit, so please uh, clasp your hands together. Stretch your arms right to the ceiling, right up to the ceiling, and palm inside out. And even though your back is flat, stretch your elbows and reach forward. Notice your shoulder blades are going wide. Now we'll stretch your arms over your head towards the floor, keep your back on the floor, keep your stomach pulled up. So you're giving yourself that extra stretch to become longer, leaner. Straighten your elbows if you can. Any place you feel tight and constricted, those are areas you're going to be working on. Bring the arms back up. A half a look, turn the hands to face. You will have a look at which index finger you have, and then flip the clasp so you have the other index finger on top. Turn the hands inside out, go to the ceiling again, lock your elbows. And then lengthen out over your head, reaching and stretching your arms as if you're trying to touch the back wall, but you're still keeping your back on the floor and you're still pulling your stomach muscles in. And maybe you're tightening the bottom too to hold that low part of the spine locked. Very, very nice. Now bring the arms back up and bring the hands down by your side. Very good. We're going to go a little bit into the core now. In Pilates, a lot of work is based on the core, balancing the front and the back of the body. So we will start with the lower abdominal. We have lower and upper abdominal. Bring the feet together, please. Put your hands with the palms down neatly by your side, facing the floor. So come here, you want the palms facing the floor. And without losing your belly, lift your right knee in towards your body. Put it back down on the floor. And lift your left knee up and put it back down on the floor. Lift your right knee up, put it back down. Lift your left knee up, put it back down. Keep going with this movement. As you can tell, it's very simple. Your job is to keep your mind on your stomach, keep pulling it in, keep your back flat, and don't let your hips flop around. So you're learning to stabilize the center of your body while you give your limbs. Very simple movement. And then finish the movement. And we're going a little bit more challenging now. So feet together again. Just for practice, squeeze your buttocks together too. So you have a little bit of a clamp in there. Keep your belly pulled in and lift your right knee up like you just did a minute ago. Keep that leg there and then lift the left knee up so it's right next to it. Keep your stomach in, put your right foot down. And then put your left foot down. And lift the right knee up. And left knee up. And right foot down, and left foot down. One more time, keeping your stomach in, right knee up, left knee up, right foot down, left foot down. Now reorganize your body, knees and feet together, tighten your belly, feel your spine, and without moving your spine, lift your left knee up. Keep your stomach in, lift your right knee up. Keep your stomach in, put your left foot down, put your right foot down. 
Left knee up, right knee up, left foot down, right foot down. Left knee up, right knee up, left foot down, right foot down, and rest. Now, both legs will be moving at the same time. Please bring your knees and feet together again. Tighten your buttocks. When you tighten your buttocks, notice that you're all squeezing your hamstrings a little bit. It's like a little lock at the base of your spine that you will be using later in the class more extensively. Take both hands, place them on your belly. Pull your belly in, so right around your belly button. Notice that you can feel your belly drop down towards your back and your back dropping to the floor. Keep the abdominals pulled in as you lift both knees at the same time off the floor towards your body. Lift the feet up. If you push your belly out, pull it back in and lower down without losing your belly. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Lift the knees up again. Pull your stomach in and right you tighten your buttocks too, like we did. Now when you lower down, keep your stomach strong, your back long, and your buttocks tight. Yeah, so harder to do. Lift your knees up. And then as you lower down, resist the inclination to arch and move in your back. Use your buttocks instead. One more time, lift the knees up. And lower the knees. Very good. Notice this was your lower abs. Now we will work a little bit into your upper abs. So first, just to have a lovely stretch, stretch your arms to the ceiling, right to the ceiling, and you will take your arms over your head towards the floor. That's not upper abs. That's just a stretch. Now bring your arms up, and now lift your head and chest and reach towards your ankles. Notice your ribs when you lift up, shoulder blades off the floor, your upper abs are working hard. Lower back down, lift the arms up and back, bring the arms to the ceiling, and lift your head and chest and curl in. Lower back down, one more time, upper abs over your head, bring the arms up and curl in, the ribs glide together towards your navel. Lower back down, now we'll do upper abs and lower abs together, arms back, arms up, and knees come up and head and chest. Everything together. Now when you lower, don't lose it. Use your abs to control. They don't flop. Nice, everybody. Come up and curl in. Curl it like a crunch in the gym. So just stay mindful. Come down. One more time. Don't lose your abs. Back and up and curl in. And put your head and feet on the mat and rest. Very nice. Bring your hands by your side. And I will work just a little bit into the pelvic girdle. Let's have your feet hip width apart. So they're separated now. Everybody tighten their buttocks. And that low spine that has its own world, please curl it under and lift it just a little bit. So your pubic bone is curling in. It's low abs and pelvis and glutes and flatten your spine back to the mat. And again, curl in that tail just a little bit. And back. And as oh, everybody's doing this so well, you'll lift higher, curl in, tighten your buttocks and roll up even more off the mat. So you can get your up your waist off the mat, but keep your ribs on the mat. And then roll back down to flat. Very good. And again, tighten your buttocks, curl your tail, roll yourself up, and roll back down, and rest. Very, very good, everybody. We're now going to do the 100. We're starting the mat work in Pilates. So still on your back the way you are. Let's bring the knees and feet together. Pull your stomach in like you just did and gently narrow your buttocks. And everybody curl your head and chest up and reach your arms strongly from your feet. This is just a foundational shape to learn the exercise. Pump your arms up and down. Keep the stomach firm. Now we'll add breathing because we will be breathing in for five and out for five. Go. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, four, five. Deep breath in. Four, five. Exhale. Two, four, five. In. Two, three, four, five. Curl up. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, four, five. Last one. Two, four, five. Exhale. Two, four, five. And go back to the mat and rest. This exercise you will do a hundred pumps and it becomes more detailed and harder as you get more used to it. But today we're doing the three basics. So please come up to a seated position now. We'll 
roll back and roll up. So your feet can be hip, cut up the feet hip width apart. Holding the knees. Sit up very, very tall. Elbows are wide and off into the back. We're going to start articulating the spine. So remember that round shape you were in. You will start leaning back and contract your stomach. Pull your stomach in and see if you can roll back where your arms are straight and really pull the belly in. Just come in and test to see if you can let go and hold with your stomach. Back and up. Curl yourself up if you feel yourself wanting to go flat. Use your arms to help you. Roll back so the arms are just there to help you find your stomach and roll your spine. And roll up so we're restoring the flexibility in the spine and we're restoring the front abdominals to support the back in many shapes. Roll back. Round, feel even more rounding right at the beginning. And roll back, round. And then sit up straight. And now start rolling back and think of your tail curling, your sacrum curling, your waist curling, your ribs curling. Very and roll back up to an upright position, very, very nice, nice and tall. And then roll, let's do one roll all the way to the floor without hands. So the hands are out, and just roll all the way down, all the way down. Use your stomach to control with just moving into the next exercise. It's to stretch our hamstrings so that later you can do an exercise called single leg circles. But for now, just with one knee bent on the floor, the other, lift your right leg. Just lift it and put your hands on your hamstring. And first of all, just pull the leg toward you and give it a nice little stretch. Flex your foot if you keep your head down. And up, point and flex, and point, and flex, and point. Now we're going to have do something called a tree. So take your leg right above your hip. Lift your head a little bit off the floor. This is hard. You may not be able to do it, but can you climb up your leg and come off the floor? Yes, that's it. And get as close as you can. Give your leg a bit of a stretch. And then walk down. Don't fall down. You don't want to fall off the tree. You want to climb down. And come up again. Happy birthday, girl. Go up. And curl down. Very nice. Change legs. Lift your other leg up. Hold the leg with both hands and just pull it towards your body wherever you are. Give yourself a nice little stretch. And then flex and point your foot a few times just to loosen up the muscles. And now bring the leg right above your hip so you pull it away and lift your head and chest. Lift your head. Remember this shape just like you were in the hundreds. You can use your stomach to curl up, and that just gives yourself a little squeeze. Yeah, and stretch yourself out. And come down, I'm amazed. Everybody's coming up, normally nobody can get up. And down, and up you come again. Up, 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 up. Right over here, Lisa. And down. Very, very nice. Put your feet on the floor and now stretch your legs out. Stretch your arms over your head. Give yourself a good stretch. Doesn't matter what you're doing with your belly anymore. Just wiggle mm -hmm. around like you're in bed and you're waking mm -hmm. up and you're stretching everything out. And now let's roll up. If you can roll up with straight legs, great. If not, you come up any way you can. Our next exercise is called rolling like a ball. So please come to the front of your mat. Make sure your bottom, your bottom is quite close to the front and your legs are a little bit away from you, hold behind your knees. Now let's start with the back flat, nice and lifted. And then from here, you're going into a round shape. Pull the ribs back, pull the stomach in, just like we were in the same shape we were in a minute ago. Use your stomach, can you lift your feet up and balance here? Balance and balance. See how long you can balance and make sure your stomach is holding the position. Let's test it into your stomach. Let go with your hands. Hold the position with your stomach. Yeah, this is hard. Nobody would think it's hard, but it's hard. Put your hands back. Good work. And then put your feet down. That was lovely. So let's go to the next level. We're going to roll now. It's called rolling like a ball. So everybody come into the same shape.
You're in this round shape. Keep your stomach strong here. Roll to your shoulders and come back. Let's see here go. Roll back, get your bottom up and roll up and balance and balance and balance. Yeah, roll back. And roll up and balance and balance and balance. Two more times like this, roll back. Roll up, balance, balance, balance. And again, roll back and up and balance. Stomach in round shape and put your feet on the mat. Lovely work. Next one is single leg stretches. You will roll down onto the mat. Remember, use your stomach, even though it's not an exercise. Every transition is an opportunity to work your core. If your feet are on the floor, your knees and feet are together. So you will be bringing your knees into your chest, but we make it an exercise for your stomach in. So your spine is long, tighten your buttocks a little bit, and bring both knees in at the same time. Bring the knees quite close to your chest and your feet quite close to your body. So the knees bend a lot. Yes. Hold your knees below your knees with both hands. Use your stomach to curl your head and chest off the floor. So we're in a similar shape to the ball shape we were in a minute ago. Take your right hand, hold your left knee, squeeze it towards you, lift your right leg up. Just pull the knee, the knee into your chest. Now keep your stomach and your back firm and switch your legs. And switch your legs. And switch your legs. And switch your legs. And switch, and switch, and switch. Every time you pull the knee to the chest, and switch. Bring both knees in, head to the mat, and slowly lower your feet down. Great control. Very nice. Next one is double leg stretches. So bring both knees to your chest again, and we'll practice the arms first. So just put your hands on your knees on your shins, and from here lift the arms straight to the ceiling, and then pick them up and over your head. So you reach way back to the wall behind you, and now draw a circle with your arms, be careful of your neighbor, and bring them back and hold your shins. And squeeze the legs in. Again, reach the arms back, circle the arms and hold your shins. Reach the arms back, Circle your arms and hold your shins. Now, use your core and powerhouse to lift your head up. So you're in a tighter position, and you'll do the same thing again. Reach the arms back, circle the arms and hold your shins. Reach the arms back, circle and in. If your neck hurts, put your head down because the exercise. And in, last one, back. And in. Put your head on the mat and lower your feet to the mat with control. Next one is scissors. Bring the knees to the chest. Lift your legs to the ceiling. Hold your, your hamstrings with your hands and curl your head and chest up. From here, you'll hold your right leg with both hands anywhere you can and gently pull it toward you so you stretch, stretch. Scissor the legs. Stretch, stretch. Scissor, stretch, stretch. Scissor, stretch, stretch. Scissor, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch. Bend your knees to your chest, head to the mat, head to the mat, and rest. Good, good, good work. From here, take both hands and clasp them and put them behind your head. And press your elbows to the floor so your chest is nice and wide. And with your feet still bent, curl your head and chest up. So again, we're working this upper abs. So stay where your head and chest comes up. That's it. And back down. And curl up. And back down. One more time like this. Curl up. Really feel the muscles you're using to be here. And down. Now we'll make it more complicated. Lift your legs to the ceiling. Curl your head up and down. Curl up and down. Now curl up and hold the position. Tighten your buttocks and lower your legs maybe 12, 15 inches. Bring the legs up using your stomach. Lower the legs a 
a little, lift them up. Keep your stomach firm and your back long. And up. Two more times, lower. And lift. One more time, lower. And lift. Bend your knees, feet on the mat, head on the mat, and rest. Now stretch your legs out again, stretch your arms out again. Give yourself a nice good wiggle and a good pull so everything is being stretched out in traction. And you can roll yourself up to a seated position. The next exercise is called spine stretch forward. So you want your feet a little bit wider than your own mat. The most important thing here is to try and sit up as straight as you can. So you, some of you that find it hard to sit up like this, you put a block under your bottom, or you bend your knees. So maybe, um, Joachim, bend your knees a little bit, bend them. Can you get your back taller? Yes, even more. You're still a little back here. Can you get up even more? Bend, look how much my knees are bent. More, 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 bend, bend, bend. Now can you stick your bottom up? Yes, okay, for now we'll work on that a little bit. So whatever is more comfortable for you like this or long, whatever you like. Yeah, so you work to get tall. We all have to fight to be tall and we can never be too tall. So nice lifted body, stomach in, chest lifted, and you will start by dropping your chin to your chest. Walk your hands forward and notice your shoulder blades are widening on your back. If it feeling like someone's punching your chest backwards and you're putting your stomach in and you walk forward, 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 forward. So you have a little stretch. Now pull the stomach in and come back to an upright position. So you roll back and stack your back up as though you're leaning against the wall. Nice and lifted. Pull the stomach and the ribs up. And again, walk forward, 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 pull down. Roll back up, 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 and lift your body. One more time, drop your head and round forward. Stretch. And roll back up to the right position. Very, very nice. Now the next one is not officially part of the traditional mass exercises, but it's a nice one to stretch out your side body. So you're going to clasp your hands, place your hands behind your head, lift your back and press your elbows to the side, and everybody twist towards Alicia, and Alicia twists towards the wall, towards the wall, and you'll take your right elbow and bend towards your right knee, down towards your right knee, and the left elbow goes up towards the ceiling. So you have a stretch on the left side. Come back up and open your chest. Rotate the opposite way towards Portia and I take your elbow down and press the other elbow to the ceiling. And up. Twist to the center. Again, go down and open the side body. Same elbow to same knee. And up. Other side. Twist. And down. And up center. So you actually say, twist the first side, same elbow to same knee. First side. So that's it, that's the light. <laughs> and the other side, and then. And Okay, now we go to something called saw. So everybody flex your feet, stretch your back, open your chest nice and tall. And all you will do, flex your feet even more if you can. Pull the toes back strongly, lift your chest up, and rotate towards Alicia. Just twist, 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 twist. twist. <laughs> And back. Lift your chest. And to the other side. Twist, 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 twist. And back. First side. Twist, 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 twist. And back. Now very important to be tall. Twist. So the more you get tall, the more you're going to twist. And back. One more time. Rotate and twist. And back. And last one. Rotate and twist. And back. Very nice. Legs together. Please lie down on your stomach. Our next one is a preparatory exercise to prepare for something called swan or swan night. But today we will have our hands, one hand on top of the other, your foreheads on the mat. 
and your feet are hip width apart, so the toes are long. In this position, think of bringing your heels towards each other just a little bit by tightening your buttocks. So the important thing isn't the heels, it's the buttocks squeezing together, and you feel your pubic bone and hip bones pressing down to create a base of your pelvis. Then from here, lift your elbows and your forehead off the mat. So you lift up and hover off the mat. You're working your back muscles and down. And again, tighten your buttocks and lift up and down. And again, tighten your buttocks and lift and down. Two more times like this. Tighten your buttocks and lift, long spine and down and lift and down. Now from here, let's come up on our elbows. So you make fists with your hands. If this hurts your back, you're going to stay down here. But the next one is called single leg kicks. Let's bring our feet together, stiff bit touching. Now, can you also squeeze your buttocks and press your hips down? And now lift your stomach up. Can you lift your stomach up so much it comes off the mat? So, yeah. And then open your chest. So a lot of work happening here. Bend your right foot slowly in. I don't want you to break in the back. Keep the back lifted. And go as far as you can without losing your stomach or your bottom. And you kick twice. And back and lift your belly up. Other side, kick, kick. And back. So you're trying to keep your body locked while you stretch your quad and loosen up your leg muscles. Kick, kick. And back. Kick, kick. And back. Kick, kick, and back. Make sure your bottom is steady and anchored to the ground. Kick, kick, and back. Very nice. Now, come on down for the beginning part of the double leg kicks, but we'll just do arms today. Your one ear is on the mat, your heels are touching, and you're also pressing your buttocks down and together. Now, lift your shoulder blades, shoulders off the mat. Lift your head off the mat, and lift your hands off the mat. So you squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then lift a little bit more. Imagine someone pulling your arms away from you to open your chest. No hand clasp, all back muscles. And then lower down, turn your head the other way. And again, shoulder blades squeeze together, hips press down and lift. Later we hold the hands, but this is actually more basic to make sure you're using the right muscle. And again, squeeze the shoulder blades together and open your collarbones, lift. And down. And one more time, squeeze the shoulder blades and lift. And down. Very nice. Sit into your heels and stretch your back up. So you just curl back, relax your spine, stretch everything out. Take a big breath in, breathe all the way into your bottom here. As you breathe out, relax your hips and your knees. One more time, big breath in. And breath out. And now come forward on your hands and knees for a plank position. We call this valley support front. So your hands are right under your shoulders and your knees are right under your hips. And let's have the knees and the feet together. Actually together, because when we step back, the feet will be touching. So see if you can feel your own spine and make it long and hold your stomach in to support your back. And also watch if your head doesn't drop down, but it's a long continuation of the, of the back. Without anything changing, take your right leg back. So the, body stays quiet and your buttocks are tight here. Now step back with the left foot. So both legs are here in a plank. Bend your right knee in. Bend your left knee in. Keep your stomach strong and take your left leg out. Take your right leg out. Take your left knee in. Take your right knee in. Keep your stomach tight and your buttocks tight. Right leg out. Left leg out. Right knee in, left knee in, left leg out, right leg out, left knee in, and right knee in. Very, very nice. So now let's have everybody lying on your side.
side. I'm wondering how to do this. I'm going to take my mat over there. So everybody by on your left side will be facing this side of the room. For legs to get side to the series. You want to line yourself up on the out back part of your mat. Back part of your mat. So you want your hand, your shoulder, your hips, and your feet in the straight line. If you are comfortable, now you lift up and support your head. If you're comfortable, if that's too much, you come back down with me. So it's your call. Now lift your feet and bring them to the front of your mats. Right. So what I'm going to do is shift over here. So from here, you will start by lifting your top leg up. It's parallel, it's flex and really lift it up without your hips moving. Lower back down, very flexed feet. Lift the leg up nice and long. Lower back down, lift up again. Lower back down, lift up again. Lower back down, one more time like this, lift up again. Lower back down. Now our next one is like a pendulum. It's called forward and back. It's lift your leg hip height. Point the foot, tighten your buttocks so you turn the leg out. Now, your body stays quiet as you bring the leg a little bit in front of you and like double kick. Take the leg behind you, but keep your back quiet so your buttocks go. It's only a little bit back. Forward, forward, and squeeze your bottom. Forward, forward, and squeeze. So you're keeping your body quiet as you do this. Just the leg is moving. You're controlling the leg without your body flopping around. So your core is working a lot. And back, one more time. Forward, forward, and back. Bring your legs together. Turn them out. Tighten your buttocks and lift your leg up high. Flex, and bring the leg down. Point, kick. Flex down. Kick, flex down. Kick, flex down. Kick, flex down. Last one, kick, flex down. Now, long foot, tighten your buttocks and do the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse it. Back. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Bend the foot up in front of you in the side. Lift, flex your bottom leg, lift it up, and lower it down. Now check that your knee is really strong as you lift and lower. So you're working that inner thigh muscle. And down, lift, and down. One more time like this, lift, and down. Now point the foot, lift it, and do a circle with the foot. One circle, second circle, third circle, reverse it. Circle, 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 lower the legs down. And now both legs lift. Both legs are long, stomach is tight, buttocks are tight. Lift both legs, lower down. Lift both legs, lower down. One more time, lift both legs. Very, very nice, everybody. Just roll over and face you all over there. Lie out on the back part of your mat. You want a straight line with your hand, shoulder, hips, and feet. One long, straight line. And now if you feel good about it, you lift your head up. Right. Now, strong stomach and buttocks. Lift both feet up to the hip, up in the air. Bring it to the front of your mat. All the way to the front, flex your feet and put the legs down. Your front hand is in front of your waist. Very good. Now both feet really strongly flex. So you should flex your feet. Yes, just like that. Take your flex your feet uh, the like it. Yes. Take your top leg and lift it up using your hips to keep you steady. And down again. Lift the leg and lower it down. Flex your foot even more than that. So lift your leg. Now imagine me here pulling on the leg, stretching it out of your waist. So as you come down, you're lengthening it. Two more times, up and down. And one more time, and up and down. Now lift your leg 
hip height, up a little bit, point your foot, you're gonna move the leg forward and back, turn it out from your bottom. No, you need to squeeze your bottom so it's turned out. And now you'll come a little bit forward and long to the back. And forward, forward, and long. Wrap it with your butt. Forward, forward, and catch. Forward, forward, and catch. Forward, forward, and catch. One more time. Forward, forward, and catch. Put the leg down. Turn the leg out, and lift the leg up. And flex it for down bottom. Very tight to go down. Good. Lift the leg and lower and kick and flex down two more times kick and flex down one more time kick and flex down now point your foot and you'll do little circles coming forward one two three four think of brushing your heel seven eight reverse back two three four five six seven and eight. Bend your top leg in front of you, hold it with your hand, flex your bottom foot, lift the leg up, lower down. Lift the leg and down. Lift and down. One more time, lift and down. Now point the foot so the room is very long in three big circles. One, two, three, reverse it. One, two, three, very nice stretch, but both legs out, one on top of the other, your hand is in front of you, your bottom is tight, your stomach is tight, lift both legs up, lower down, both legs up, lower down, last one, both legs up, strong weights, and lower down, very nice, everybody come around to the front, your feet are facing the front again, and your legs are in front of you, and we will do preparation for a teaser. <laughs> so you want to have the knees bent like this, about a 40, so it's not too tight. It's quite open. Let's have everybody bend the knees and hold behind the knees. And now take one leg and stretch it up. See if you can keep your knees together. You can keep your knees together. And now round your back. So you find your core and let go with your hands. So you're in this position, can you roll halfway down to the floor and roll up and roll down and roll up using your core. One more time by just rolling down and rolling up. Let's change legs, other side, and rolling down, rolling up, rolling down. Rolling up, rolling down, rolling up. Very good. Now, let's lift both feet up. So it's similar to rolling like a ball. Can you extend the legs? Stay in your core. Stay in your core. And let go. So that core, then the feet, and come down and come to the front of your mat for seal. In this position, this is similar to rolling like a ball. You're going to have your hands bring them together, bring them underneath, and then you wrap them around to so hold your feet. Now, from here, round your back. Lift your feet up so you're balancing. Balance, balance, and see if you can do three claps. That's why it's called seal clap. And clap, and clap, and hold it. <laughs> no falling. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. And one more time, clap, clap, clap. Very good. Excellent. So actually, the more advanced version is to roll. So you are naturally more advanced. We are going to roll back and roll up now. So we clap three times, roll back, roll up, just the same. So here we go. Let's lift the feet up and balance. Clap, clap, clap. And roll back to your shoulders and up again. Roll and balance. And clap, clap, clap. Roll. And balance and clap, clap, clap. Roll and balance. And last one, clap, clap, clap. Roll and balance. Very, very good. Everybody come up to a standing position. And remember at the beginning we brought the floor, you roll 
rolling down, rolling up. We've done lots and lots of rolling. So now we're doing rolling from an upright position. So you will be standing and we'll do a Pilates V. So the feet are a little bit out, but the importance here is not the feet, unless turn, uh, um, the, um, Anisha, sorry. You want to take your buttocks and wrap them. So you squeeze your bottom and you're taking your hamstring and you're taking all these muscles and you're pulling them around to create like a back lock for yourself. So just want to feel that sensation like you're zippering everything up and then you zipper up your stomach and you lift your chest and you roll your shoulders wide. So we're starting to work on vertical posture here. And then from here, let's drop your head and now roll down the same way. So you're just gonna roll down a little bit. So just the rib cage rolls down. Hold this position. And then roll back up. So just go with the rib cage and come all the way up to straight and tall over the shoulders. Yes, so you're kind of finishing the movement. Now you close the shoulders a bit so that you start to stretch between the shoulder blades, pull the stomach in and up, go a little bit lower down, and roll back up, and open the shoulders, the chest, and one more time, rolling down, just like that, just a little bit further, and rolling back up, standing tall, open chest, lift your arms to the ceiling, Pull your belly in, buttocks tight, stomach tight, reach. Take a breath in, and then on the outward, relax, relax, and you're washing away all the tension from your body until you're standing normal. Take a breath in, and breath out, relax. Well done, everybody.